Hey everybody, guess what? We're live and I'm so excited to talk about this. I've got the Brentwood Library, actually the John P. Holtz Library in Brentwood. We're so excited to talk about something you can see right behind them. Uh, Kathy and Dustin, how's it going this morning? It's good. How are you guys? Wonderful. Doing great. So I want to talk about real quick, people saw this happening and now we can see the finished product, which I was curious myself. So the, is it the Owen Prim house? It yes. is. Okay. Mm -hmm. That house was sold and they're doing renovations, but there was a local artist who spent like, you told me months. I didn't know it was months. She would come in the afternoon, set up her paints, paint that, and you've got the finished product behind you. We do. Artist Peggy Snow, if you were driving on Moore's Lane in front of the Prim house, you would see her out there painting. Um, she is an open air artist. She loves to paint out in the world and she will paint in drizzle and she will paint <laughs> in the heat and the cold. Um, that is her preferred method. And we have her painting on display in the library lobby through October 31st. Wow. Okay. So Dustin, you told me something really interesting about this painting. Tell me yeah. like, so go ahead. Well, I mean, I think this is fascinating. There's actually pieces like a little bit of history inside that painting itself. There is whenever she was creating the painting itself, she was using pieces from around the area of the house to actually incorporate into her painting. So whenever you look up close at the painting, you can see little shells that she found on the fence. And she you can find little uh, pieces of paint that she was able to get off the wood to be able to incorporate it into her painting. I love that. And I find that so amazing that she would do that. So you're not selling that painting itself right there. But yes, can... this painting is sold. It sold within moments of her hanging it up. So that is a testament to how much people love this house in Brentwood and, and see its value and are so grateful that it is being saved and renovated. Um, but we had a relationship with Peggy to come um, display that, like I said, through October 31st. So you come and see that snail shell embedded in the painting for yourself. Um, and she was so gracious to allow us to do a set of note cards for of her painting to raise money for not only the Friends of the Brentwood Library, but also the um, City of Brentwood Historic Commission. So we are splitting the proceeds from those note cards and you can still buy those five for $10. And she loved all the feedback that she got from us so much that she also donated um, two prints for us to sell for the benefit of the library. And we are having an auction online right now through October 5th for those prints. Wow. Okay. So I've got the link. I'm going to put it in the comments here for okay. you uh, so people can go bid. So tell me, is the bidding open now? The bidding is open now through October 5th at 10 p.m. And we have the note cards on there that you can just go ahead and buy it now and we'll reach out to you and get those um, delivered. And then we have the prints and Peggy was so great. She signed them, she dated them. They're high quality prints on art paper. They're absolutely gorgeous, uh, full of great details. This is not a, a poster. It is definitely an art print and they are lovely. Wow. What are, what is the size of the print? What's the size of that actual piece right there? I can't tell for so sure. It's about 38 by 38. It's 36 or 38 by 36, 38. Yes. Yeah. And the print itself for the larger print is the same size as the original it painting. Is. Oh, so that's a pretty good size. That's a pretty it good is. space on your wall. If you're looking for it a is. spot mm -hmm. to fill there. Yes. Okay. Wow. So tell me what else is going on at the library. You guys are busy. It's October. You've got so much going on. I don't know if we can fit it all in. We always, the friends, October is a busy, busy month for the friends. Um, our 45th anniversary is October 14th and it will be friends of the Brentwood library day in the city of Brentwood. Um, so 
please think about that as a time to, to come out and support the friends and learn about what we do. Um, we are super excited to have our second annual Halloween Booktacular where children 12 and under can come to the library on October 30th from 3 to 5 p.m. And we will have treat stations, about 15 stations all through the library. And um, kids also receive a book at the end of their trick-or-treating. And so it's a great safe place, especially for young people who you maybe don't want them out on the road and they run away from you. It's more of a confined space or parents were super excited that they, they didn't feel stressed about um, their children running hither and yon in the street. So uh, we do that. And then we have our, we've actually changed the date of our book sale. Normally it is in October, but we are continuing to do some great renovations in the meeting room space. And we are moving that to November 5th through the 7th. So our, our book sales are fantastic. There's nothing over $3. And we have about 17,000 to 20,000 items. Wow. To choose from. Wow. And they're very inexpensive. Tell me yes. the pricing because it starts like really cheap. You can't buy yes. it even at a resale place as cheap as you guys are selling. <laughs> yes. And and all that money that we raise goes right back to the library. It funds all of the programming and the services and the technology that you love here in the library. So um, we start at children's books, start at 50 cents and go up to $2.00. And um, hardcovers are $3, uh, softcovers are 2 we have DVDs for $2, CDs for $1, we always have some vinyl. Um, so it's, you can find something and we have it organized by uh, subject matter, we have it organized alphabetically. You're gonna, you're gonna love it. We play '80s music. It's just a fun time. <laughs> and if you have it in November. People already be thinking about Christmas shopping. What a great way to pay it forward. Yeah. A great deal. Some of those vinyls are hard to find. Some of the vinyls are hard to find. Our vintage books, we, we're doing all vintage books $3. So the likelihood that you find a, a book valued multiple times more than that, $20 or $30, is very high. And those are great. Those vintage books are beautiful and they're great gifts for people. Um, so we would, we would love to have you come out and shop with us. Okay. Wow. There is a lot going on. Uh, <laughs> tell me again, I want to go back to that painting real quick before we leave. Tell me everything. Cause I have not seen it in person. I think I saw a picture somewhere, but tell me everything that you see. I see the house. What else is in there? Yes. Yeah, so, um, the house <clears throat> and the, um, slave cabins that, are one of the few, if not the only one of that kind um, in the United States. It's, what is it? A double foxtrot? A yeah. double foxtrot. It essentially has two houses connected to the same chimney. And they would share both of those um, to be able to stay warm at night. It's uh, very small. The painting doesn't do it justice. But... Hmm. Yeah. And that's being restored as well, because again, it is um, so unique to, yes. to the property. Um, but she's actually put people in the property. So it's very much as it would have been or how she imagines it would have been when it was being um, lived in and, and used. Wow. Well, she didn't get the barn in there. Is the barn gonna stay, do we know? I do not know about the barn. I, I, I think that it may be in really bad shape. That is definitely something that I know the Historic Commission of the City of Brentwood is working on and, and working with the developers. But uh, we are super excited that the house and some of the other parts of the property are being renovated in, in cab. Right. And yes. it's going to become a living house again with a family in it, which is going to be a wonderful, wonderful thing. Yes, I drive by there and I see that they're working on it. They pulled yes. some of the wood or whatever the outside was off right now. I can't really tell what they're going to do. Dustin, do you know what exactly is happening with that, what they're working on? 
So currently what they're trying to do is make it li a livable space for a family again to be able to use the house again like it was normally intended to be. I will say that the slave quarters were moved. They did move them closer to the roads so that people driving by would be able to see them and appreciate the history of it. Okay. Well, when you drive by, now you know. I love that. So you can come by the library. You can still see the painting. It'll be hanging up for now. Yes, it will be here through October 31st. So definitely come because you, you really have to see. It is very 3D. It is an oil painting. You're going to get to see the snail shells and the flecks of paint from the fence. And um, we would love to have you come look at it. Okay, I'm, I'm coming by. Uh, I'm going to put the link up here in case you guys want to bid on one of the prints or buy the little cards. What is the bid starting for the prints? Um, the starting bid for the prints, um, the smaller one, 22 by 22, is $250. And this, the bid right now on the larger one is up to $420, $420. And again, note cards are $10, and you can buy them immediately, and I'll reach out to you and we'll get them to you. Even the note cards, you could frame the little note cards. That's Absolutely. What that's, what, Absolutely. that's what I did. I framed <laughs> mine and it's, it's right up on my wall already. Oh, I love that. All right. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Tell everybody where they can find, I know we mentioned a lot of activities and people may not remember all those dates. Tell everybody where they can find all the updates. So you can go to the library website and look at our calendar. Um, and then you can also click, we have a tab just for friends, which has all of our upcoming book sale dates and information about our organization. All right. Hey, thanks so much. Thanks for showing us that painting. I didn't well, realize it was at the library right now. So I've got to come by and see it. All right. All right. Thanks everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.